gardeners are not all good people. Some gardeners are mean, spraying chemicals and killing slugs, killing weeds. Gardeners always tend to nice people. But they're not. They're like sick, twisted gods trying to come true. Life forms in the garden. By the lights of perverted science, you'll see them grafting, cutting off branches with sharp knives and doing diabolical experiments on their plants. Gardeners are not such wonderful people. They're mean. They're always in a bad mood. They're always moaning about the weather. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's too wet. The frost is coming. It's too windy. Crabbing about in the little gardens. Like little Caesars. Dictating how things should grow. Every gardener I know has got a black heart deep down. Even though he might pretend he's a beautiful, bountiful person. I always wanted to be a gardener, to be like a god, to conduct the plants, to tell them where to go, to plant the grass beautiful, and then cut it all down with my machine, like a great god in my garden. And to plant the tomatoes, and watch them grow, and crush them in my teeth. Eat them all up. Yes, to be a gardener is to be like in a little heaven. And you can pretend you are God in your garden. You are in charge of all the little growing things. And if you want, you can kill a worm or a slug. Whatever you want, you can kill them in your own garden. Nobody will take you to prison. <laughs> it's great. It's like, it's like being an emperor. It's like being an emperor in the ancient Rome. I love it. And when I'm pushing this little machine, I can feel the power of the motor. It's like my heart be beating in my body, and I feel the power of the motor in, in myself. And it makes me feel strong. 